everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here today, please make sure to click the subscribe button. And for all my returning subscribers, welcome to another video by your ultimate fave. As you guys can see, I am doing one of your ultimate favorite videos. Um, I think this video has been requested for so long and I took a break on it because obviously I've been doing a lot of mukbangs and I've been doing a lot of the same mukbangs. So today I decided I'm gonna do something completely different. But before I start talking about this brand and what I'm gonna be eating today, this is not a disclaimer. This is me telling you right, right, right. If you guys have a problem with eating sounds, if you guys have a problem with and, 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 and. This is not the video for you. Any video that has the word mukbang in it is not the video for you. So I definitely did as I'm gonna be serious with you guys. If anybody talks about the, my chewing and how it sounds and how it doesn't sound good, That'll probably be the last video that you're gonna watch by Nalidi M Official, all right? Please, please, please get in touch with what mukbang is, get in touch with what ASMR is, learn more about it. There are some people who don't like the sound of chewing, and there are some people who absolutely love the sound of chewing. So it's very unfortunate, but there are a couple of people I've blocked. Sorry, Jesus, I had to block them. I know they were performing. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay guys, so before we begin today's confession session, as you guys can see by the title of the video, I really wanna talk about the mukbang I'm gonna be doing today. I'm super, 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 super excited. Um, if you guys haven't already heard of the brand that I'm about to be featuring on my channel today, I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh my goodness, and then I've also got some extra wings this side. So now this company, or like this brand is called Lots of Wings. Um, if you guys saw on my social media the other day, if you guys actually follow me religiously, you will know that I actually had an encounter with them previously, but we've actually managed to work it out because it was actually a bit of a, like a misunderstanding. So I decided that today for my mukbang, I would feature them on my channel because like I said, it is a black owned brand, small business, and you guys know how much you know how much it means to me to obviously help small businesses get off their feet. Um, I'm really looking forward to eating this. But most importantly, I'm looking forward to these confession sessions, man. Like, I haven't checked any of the questions, okay? I haven't checked any of the questions. So, in the comments, be very careful about what you say about my chewing. Okay? Okay, but before we start, let me just take a bite. So, I think these... This is like a portion of wings, but I think this is a portion of 32. And I'm not entirely sure what flavor this one is, but. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. These ones. Mm. Mm. These ones have like a sweet kind of KFC dunked like taste. Almost like a honey soy flavor. Oh, I think this is the one that you call the sweet and sour chicken. Mmm. 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 Really good. Mmm. Really, oh my god, really good. Oh, one personal thing that you should know about me. These are my favorite. I don't know what they call these ones. The Little Lees. I don't know what they call these ones. This one, I always preferred over this. But this... It's so good. Oh, guys. I haven't had food all day. I've been looking forward to this, okay? But, okay. I want my thing. Mm -mm. I'm gonna be dead ass with you. I don't understand people who eat wings and then they leave all the pieces on the side. Like, my ex used to say to me, Ah, now, lady, you're always eating like you're extra hungry, like you haven't eaten in five days. Well, oh, guys, it took the strength out of Jesus for me not to kill that man. He always used to make fun of the fact that I always eat wings and I finish them completely. But yeah, these I think are the sweet and sour chicken ones. And these I think would be the barbecue ones. And the brand is called Lots of Wings. You can find them on social media, on like Instagram. I know they're on Twitter. And they do deliver. So, I mean, I think the plate that I am eating. It's probably a portion for one or two. I'm not entirely sure how much it goes for, but I will leave the details down below. But what I was looking forward to are these loaded bacon fries. Now, oh my God. Mm. Mm. 
Mmm. 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 You know what I like about the bacon? She actually gives me like bacon chunks. I've never liked bacon fries with like streaky bacon. It makes no sense to me. Okay. Mm. All right. I've had my facial food and now I'm going to have my alcohol. And now I am going to read all your confessions. Guys, let's just talk about like confessions. A lot of people ask me, or like they tell me their confessions and they think that I have some sort of great advice to give you. To be honest with you guys, I'm just fighting myself as it is. But anyway, let's read these confessions and see. Please, no more, no more of this cruel intentions things, no? Mm -mm. I don't wanna see you guys sleeping with your dads and your brothers anymore. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Okay, so the first one sounds like something I would do, my expertise. I'm taking back my manipulative ex. Oh, he's changed, but I'm taking him back on the low. Are you called public as of yet? Mm. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't even make a public announcement about taking your ex back, dude. You know what you need to do? Mm. Take him back quietly. Don't even tell people when you've broken up. I think that's the biggest mistake you can do. Is go on a single rampage, okay? That's why I mean, I give myself five to seven business working days to think about if I've really broken up with him. When I break up with my ex, it's probably why we were together for so long. If I break up with him, at least three days later, I want my baby. And I want him right here, in my arms. So, honestly, girl, do you. We almost died this year. I want to buy a delay. They secretly married. I want to, you know what? People are sleeping with their dads and their brothers. You're better off being with your ex that you know probably loves you back. And I know that's the worst advice I've given, but taken. <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> Next one is I'm catching feelings for this marriage. <laughs> Anonymous said, I'm catching feelings. No, man. No. Th these ones are a bit too spicy for my liking. Yeah, no, the, the, those ones are a bit too spicy. Those ones are spicier than these ones. I don't understand. Not the spicy one. Hmm. I'm gonna eat them anyway. Yeah! See, guys, my ex would eat it like this. And leave meat. And I'd be like... What kind of Caucasianism are you guys living at your houses? Mm-mm-mm. Let's eat. Take that. Yeah. Mm. The barbecue is a lot more spicy than um, this, which I would assume is a sweet and sour chicken. And I don't particularly like it because now it's a bit too spicy for my lips. But I'm gonna soldier through it because that's no choice. We are soldiers. But anyway, where was I? <laughs> Anonymous said, right? I don't know if I skipped the other Anonymous, but I'll come back to him. Anonymous said, I had a threesome with my dad and bro. Is it like a stepdad? There's no way he's your biological father. Mm -mm. This is a lie. You're a liar. You're a liar and you're a fraud. And you're definitely lying on my channel. I had a threesome with my dad and brother. Now I got pregnant, I don't know what to do, I'm 13, no ways. You know what, I don't know what kind of role dog game you're playing here. What kind of fantastic Mr. Fox. What kind of, but that's definitely a fable. That's a story time and I'm gonna skip it. Because you know what, if I had to ask you the nooks and crannies, first of all, is it your real dad? Is it your real brother? Second of all, your dad is having sex with you and your Guys, you know what? The problem is you want to lie on a public platform. This fable right here, I'm not even gonna engage. The next confession session is, I've had sex with <laughs> three different men on the same day, and all of them are my boyfriends. I'm not PR. I'm not pr Hmm? What is the issue here? This sounds up. 
just about right no let me not even lie to you dude i would never even do that i, I don't know where you guys get the strength like i was told and you know what you probably shouldn't even do it anymore because i've heard bad things about yoni steaming but i was told that if you sleep with the gents and then you go on yoni steam it's like back to normal but she didn't hear from me well, mm, 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 mm. ma'am you didn't do anything wrong if all of them are your boyfriends okay you did something wrong you know you're wrong but you know what go on with your badass self the next confession session is i once cheated on my now ex at his party in his bedroom <laughs> no wait sorry <laughs> i read the whole thing i once cheated on my now ex at his party in his bedroom and when his cousin caught me i flipped it and cried okay and and then what and then what happened what happened I, I don't see anything wrong i mean of course there's something wrong but i don't i don't really see it wait when you were sleeping with someone at your man's party your man didn't notice that you were gone for 15 20 minutes no to be found and you went to his bedroom out of all places what kind of what kind of fear factor lives are you guys living i'm gonna need you guys to teach me dead ass, dead ass i'm gonna need you guys to teach me how to finesse people like that to be able to flip it and cry <laughs> Ay, mm -mm. okay okay anonymous the one that I actually skipped said i'm catching feelings for this married gent that i'm seeing he told me he won't leave his wife. Play stupid games and stupid prizes. Ma'am, ma'am, you knew the whole time. Did you want him to leave his wife? What's the way forward? Are we gonna have a sit down meeting and say, okay, listen, baby, do you want his Tim? Like, what is the way forward? Like, the only thing you can do at this point is either choose to uncatch feelings or just prepare yourself to be a second wife. And that's if the first wife accepts me. I think that's my problem with polygamy. I'm gonna tell you guys what my problem with polygamy is. As the first wife, one, I'm too jealous. But two, if I was the second wife and the first wife said no, I'd be like, what's on your way? You weren't saying no this whole time when you didn't know about me. When you didn't know about me, you weren't saying no this whole time. Jokes aside, <laughs> that one is a bit tricky because it depends. Do you actually want do you actually want to be in like a polygamous relationship or like were you hoping that this gent is gonna leave his wife for you because if it's the latter then you play stupid games win stupid prizes but if it's the former then god speaks this and invite me to the wedding if they let you inside i want to learn to utan on this where they secretly pretend to like each other but they can't stand each other mm -mm. Hmm. Helang. Hey! Anonymous said, the guy who was my first is still sleeping with me and he has a girlfriend. I can't let go. Help me, I'm 21. Cha. There's something that feel, feels very Jasmine Sullivan y about this. Like this whole, I can't let him go because he was my first. As if I had to imagine my first, the one that broke my virginity. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not about to dog my ex. Nah. Mm -mm. He was a big story. But, uh, <laughs> babes, you're too old, eh? That's all I'm going to say, one. But I totally understand because I'm also very, very clingy in that regard. Like, I have, like, horrible, horrible, like, letting go tendencies. Like, I would break up with the gent and still sleep with him and nobody else but that that's that's a horrible coping mechanism and i don't even think you're sleeping with him because you can't let go i think you're sleeping with him because he was your first and you haven't really slept with anybody else and the reason i'm saying that is because it was the exact same thing with me like i have trouble being intimate with another guy because i've been intimate with someone that i fully 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 
fully like he knows me my ass crack he knows where my stretch marks are he knows my satellites he knows everything about me that makes me very uneasy so he makes it 10 times more comfortable but i'm telling you now you're setting yourself up for like a losing game in this instance because he's not going to leave his girlfriend for you that much i can tell you if if he's sleeping with you and he still has a girlfriend knowing that you are so attached to him like this Ma'am, he's gonna sleep with you until you're 40. <laughs> okay. Anonymous said, I want to cheat on my boyfriend because he did, but that's not my brand. <laughs> I'm exactly like you, but the words for, for, for your sanity. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I once cheated just to, just to really, to come the thing in me to say good time, man. Oh, is it? I'm a total one phony. Because men want me. Men want me all the time. I just wanted to be faithful. And then you out here, you cheating. You cheating with a couple of twos. When I'm a whole entire six and a half on a bad day. Meaning that I'm an eight and a half on a good day. Then you want to cheat on me with a couple of twos. Ma'am, if I were you, I would do it. I'll do it. I mean, I have. And I did, I did it to say I've done it. I did it just for my ego, for my soul, for the soul, dude. But don't do it. Don't do it, Mara, Mara, Mara. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Pick and choose what answer you took out of there. Okay. Okay. This Han thinks we're best friends. She's irritating as fuck. Can't wait to ghost her at the end of the year. We're still waiting for the end of the year. Why are you still waiting for the end of the year? Why can't you wait? Wait a minute. Have you actually had a conversation and, and said, you know what, friend, I love you. Maria Bora. You, you're irritating as fuck. Personally, personally for me, my friends have told me on various occasions that I'm irritating as fuck. I talk too much. I talk over my friends sometimes and it's never intentional. Oh, oh, and I'm always crying about the same damn thing. He cheated on me. I'm not leaving him, friend. Then next week I'm back. Then he cheated on me again, friend. So I, I, I irritate my friends quite a bit. I do. I'm just gonna ask you one question. Why have you not told her how you feel? And why have you been friends with her so long that you can't wait to ghost her? I'd have a really big problem if I was friends with you. Like, just tell me what's in your key, in your, and that you can't wait to get rid of me. Or like, friend, this friendship is not working out. This whole childish tendency of us not telling each other what's your porana is kind of irritating. And it kind of makes you a shitty friend. Because real friends don't do that. They do a lot, but they don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, Anonymous just said, I'm 19 and he's 15 and I've never been so happy. Happy. So are you helping him write his social science homework? Because he, he hasn't even reached the part where he can pick. He's, he's not even able to pick his, 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 but we done. He's, 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 Yay! You know what I'm trying to say. He's not even able to pick it. I don't want to say modules because it's not modules. He's not even able to pick geography, history. He hasn't even started doing physics. He's 15. He's a child. He disgusts me. And you're 19, doing first year, learning about law and accounting. And here you are sleeping with kids who are still doing Ama City A. Are you picking him up from school? Are you helping him with his homework? What in the Christian Grey and Mrs. Robinson are you doing? What are you doing? And it doesn't 
even count on Christian Grey as Miss Robinson because no, it does count because Christian Grey was a child. But what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> maybe, maybe if you were 28 and he were even if that 28 and 24. Uh, mm, 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 that's better. Um, I might just go through your profile. I might find him tagged on your Instagram. And I might just tell his moms. Cause I don't know what the hell you doing. How are you gonna go tell his mom that you're 19 and her child is 15? School uniform, pullover, toughies. He's only going to grade 10 next year. Do you realize he's not even in matric? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what I would do if some 19 year old went to my little brother and saw some I'm in love. I, I, I'd, I'd kick you in the stomach, honestly. I'd uppercut you. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Leave that kid alone. Leave that child alone. Nana, she even put in her heart and a pregnant star. I had sex with my brother-in-law. Seems seems reasonable enough. Okay. He's a brother-in-law. He's a brother-in-law. As long as you guys just make sure no one finds out, it'll be fine. Anonymous said I have three boyfriends and the one I want to myself is married. You see, the problem is you want to be stingy and not give them all equal love. Imagine if you had parents that loved their other kids more than they loved you. That's why he's married. For that reasoning in particular, Yega up selfish. Love everyone equally, like Jesus loved his disciples equally. Even Judas, the one he couldn't stand. <laughs> Anonymous said, I met my ex yesterday. I think I'm still in love with him. I haven't seen or spoken to him in two years. You're not still in love with him. You're just still from the shock of not seeing him in two years. You are not in love with him. You just got mesmerized by not having seen him for two years. That would happen to me too. Okay, um, the next anonymous said, Hey man, I just want that gent. Ask him bro to give me seedlings. Hey, 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 hey. So you guys are now shooting your shots on people's boyfriends on my channel. On my channel. Ish, ish, ish. Beware. You know, I know this is not a mess, but y'all, y'all getting out of hand. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> okay. This young girl said, "Yo, guys, I, yeah, and then <laughs> and I'm said, I'm flirting, I'm flirting, <laughs> I'm flirting with my boyfriend with a fake account." <laughs> No, you know what? You know why I'm laughing? <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's not unrealistic. I've done it before. <laughs> and the first day, it's fun because you're thinking, yeah, I can't wait to catch him. And then, then it starts becoming painful when you're sitting right next to your man and he's DMing you, your, your fake account, missing you, the fake you, while you're right there next to him. And he's not even touching you. Ask me, I'll tell you. <laughs> and then you see him on the couch, they turn the phone like this, can't they? They flirt him. <laughs> Yo, guys, men, men will make us idiots, yeah. Yo, men will make us dirty. Ah, uh, hi, Bo. Hmm, hmm. I dated my stepdad, and we're done. If he's your stepdad, that means he was still with your mom. <laughs> so when he goes to bed, 
bed in your mom's room. You can't just be things there. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. You guys are really, really nasty. Like, you're all types of nasty, actually. Mm -hmm. Anonymous said, I have a tattoo and my parents don't know yet how do I tell them you don't. They have to just see it. I didn't even tell my parents. I did a whole YouTube video and my parents still didn't know that I... <laughs> my dad was there, was just like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, this last one is the closing. And we need to discuss this. I suspect my boyfriend is gay or bi. <laughs> there are too many chains. There are too many chains in Johannesburg who are sleeping with chains, who are sleeping with niggas, who are sleeping with mans, men. And you know what hurts me is that there was a point or the other where people were like to me, no, bro, 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 your mans. <laughs> Your man's is getting them booty jeans. And I was like, <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to believe that. No. <laughs> guys, gay guys out there are chowing our boyfriends quietly and perfectly. They have group chats, they have our boyfriends all over there. Like, it's just, it's bird, guys. Like, it's hard, but it's harder. Like, our boyfriends, but it's harder. And all I'm saying is, if you suspect, please, ma'am, Sherlock Holmes, Nancy Drew up in that bitch. Do the work, research, and find out if your man is getting his booty cheeks spread. Because I am telling you now, there are niggas that are getting their booty cheeks spread that I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. Like, I had to ask people, I needed the receipts. And when I got the receipts, I was just like, But that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> Girl. But yeah, guys, that is it. We finally reached the end of confession session featuring lots of wings. I'd really like to thank them so much for sending me wings to eat. It was just very unfortunate that the barbecue was a little bit spicier than expected because as far as I know, that was supposed to be the less spicy one. And then these uh, sweet and sour chicken were supposed to be the ones that were a bit more on the spicy side. But they tasted really good. They tasted almost like... KFC Zinger Wings, but with a lot more like genuine packed flavor and not that heat that makes your, your tongue numb because I don't understand why you guys eat Zinger Wings. But Dunk Wings are amazing. Uh, I didn't get a chance to taste these and I think it had a lot to do with the loaded fries. The loaded fries are absolutely delicious with the cheese. Um, I definitely want like a cheese sauce next time. I want them extra cheesy because you guys know how much I love cheese. Like I eat anything with cheese. I just eat cheese <laughs> i love cheese guys but yeah guys that is it that is the end of the confession session thank you so much to everyone who suggested that i do this for the vlogmas period if you guys do know any other brands that you guys would like me to feature on the channel in terms of mukbang wise please comment down below but until then i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much and goodbye